jealous. <laughs> Cheryl? Can we have a word? <sighs> Scatter, my vixens. Yes, buddy? What is it? Polly. Look, I don't know what kind of Stockholm Syndrome spell you've cast on her, but I want to talk to my sister. Let's not fight. Especially not when we should be celebrating. Why? What happened? Haven't you heard? Dr. Patel just confirmed it this morning. Polly is having twins. Bless her blossom jeans. And she didn't call to tell me. Hostages aren't normally allowed to make outgoing calls. Can you please just give her a message for me? As long as it doesn't upset her. Tell her she should call her mom. She's trying really hard to hide it, but I can tell she's really, really hurt and upset. I'll pass your message along. Thank you. If I remember. Cheryl. That was a joke, you hobo. Of course I'll give her your message, Betty. But no promises that she'll care or respond. Okay, Ethel. Are unbelievable, Jug. Polly is locked up in that house like a character out of Jane Eyre. And what are they doing? Changing each other's login accounts and throwing bricks through windows. I wish I had seen that. Okay, I'm sorry. It's not funny. It's like, you know how in a time of crisis, people either come together or fall apart? It feels like we're falling apart. And the way things are going pretty soon, the Coopers, we're not gonna exist anymore, and there's nothing I can do Betty, to stop that. Betty, don't do that. Don't give up. Your family is definitely splintering right now, but it won't fall apart because of you. Because you're holding them together. You're so much stronger and all of the white noise. You're stronger than your mother. You're stronger than your father. You're holding this family together. So don't. Don't let go. I won't. Mom. Archie just called, he talked to Polly. She's safe. She's okay, Mom. She didn't choose the Blossoms over us. She's actually there to spy on them. <sighs> you know, when I went after this story, I thought in the back of my mind that what if this is it? What if this is finally the time that she doesn't come back? And she will, Mom. And right now, she's our woman on the inside. We're going to write this story. Come write with us at the Blue and Gold. <sighs> the school newspaper. Yeah, that's what we are. But I'm pretty sure that our annual operating budget is bigger than the registers. returned from the brink with one more bit of news. At the banquet, I heard Mr. and Mrs. Blossom talking. It sounded like Clifford Blossom was responsible for sending Veronica's dad to jail. Oh, my God. If Clifford sent Hiram Lodge to jail, tore apart his family, then maybe Hiram was trying to do the same thing to him? Yeah, by going after what the Blossoms value most, their family, their legacy. That's a motive. Hey, I was talking to Kevin, and he told me that you and Chuck had some scene in the cafeteria yesterday. It wasn't a big deal. What exactly happened between you guys that night? Veronica asked me to keep the details under wraps, okay? Yeah, all right. No worries. I only really asked because he made it sound like you were upset. No, if I was upset about anything, it was that I had to hear about your birthday from Archie and not you, Jug. Yeah, well, I didn't think you were an American werewolf kind of girl. Ooh, that's where you're wrong, Jughead Jones. I'm all about the beast within. If it's a double feature.